example seven chapter two pressure distributed in a fluid. A drag racer rests her coffee mug on a horizontal tray while she accelerates at so accelerates. Seven met on a uh, S square, the mug is 10 centimeter deep. Mug. Ten centimeter deep as shown in this figure. The total depth. From this point to this point. And uh, Six centimeters in diameter or six centimeter contains seven centimeter of tip of coffee. Tip equals to Assuming rigid body acceleration of the coffee, determine whether it will spill out of the mug. Calculate the gauge. Calculate the gauge pressure in the corner at point A if the density of coffee equals to and density rho equals to kilograms on m cube demand of the problem is determine assuming rigid body acceleration of the coffee determine whether it will spill out of the mood so determine fluid situation after acceleration and calculate the gauge pressure in the corner at point A. At point A, which shows in this picture here. So we now can calculate the For the mog in accelerating motion, we had the relation what that was in this case a bar equals to zero, so theta equals to ax, which was seven on G theta equals to and uh, for In this case, we can calculate the situation of the 
copy in the cup so we had this relation consider the cup as mode if we had a theta so we calculate the theta from the this is also theta anyway we can write the expression the relation between these two uh, distances at first we had this at zero let me write the at t equals to zero before acceleration and after acceleration we had a theta here so we can calculate the distance that coffee goes up when he apply and accelerate a on the mark we can calculate tangent sinus theta tangent theta equals to the for example delta z in this picture on the half of the mark feet which is 3 so Seven on which is equals to it is uh, smaller than three, which is the height of the uh, part of the mark that uh, don't contain copy so now we can calculate the another demand calculate the pressure at point a point a is in this point at point a the pressure is as the have in the previous discussion in our course we had this relation for a uh, accelerated for example fluid in a container equals to rho g where g is equals to So delta P equals to rho G delta S. It's replacing the uh, um, acceleration quantities and rho G also we can calculate the delta P. Before that we should calculate delta S also. We are going to write in next page. So we have this relation for the calculating pressure in the direction of the fluid acceleration G equals to AX squared plus AY plus G uh, and delta S equals to plus the distance
of the class as we computed before the does it equals to uh, Centimeter multiplied to cosinus theta, which is 35.5. We should calculate this distance for the accelerating fluid. We have a distance here, for example, for A. We should calculate this distance, which is the uh, vertical distance perpendicular to the surface of the fluid, which created with the accelerating A. So we calculate this distance as delta S. So we can calculate delta P equals to PA gauge pressure rho multiply to AX square plus AY plus G square multiply to so PA equals to 906 Pascal so the note is in this type of problems the if you want to calculate the pressure at a point, for example, point A, we should calculate the horizontal distance, uh, vertical perpendicular distance to the, for example, our desired point. This is delta S for calculating the pressure at point P on T S rho G. This is the end of the example seven.